All right, hello everyone, it's Jimmy here and welcome back again to this channel. And today we're going to review another exciting lens, which is the Voilander 50mm f2.2 color scopa. Now, I have done a unboxing video last week and lots of people are interested in this lens. I can see why. This lens is small, light, the design is beautiful as the 28 color scopa and it pairs really well with that lens too and today i'm going to cut it short and go straight to the meat here which is a optical comparison against the leica 50 mil f2 summicron the legendary lens here and also the leica 50 mil summeret f2.5 now in terms of size the color scopa and the summerit are really really similar that being said we have to take the lens hood off here well in the unboxing video i guess it's due to temperature change during the shipping process i couldn't really take the lens hood off which is a shame um, if it couldn't be taken off because as you can see here this lens is tiny now it officially becomes the smallest like a 50 mil lens trumped even the 50mm f2.5 here. And in terms of weight, this color scopa is also quite a bit lighter than the Summerit. And if you compare it to the Summicron, the difference is even larger. So just for the size alone, it's got a huge advantage here. Because like I've mentioned so many times in my videos before, when using a Leica rangefinder, size and weight and handling is all that matters if the optical quality are not that too far apart now talking about optical quality that is what we're going to do next and let's take a look at the comparison here All right, so what do you think? I think we can draw a few conclusions here that wide open, close distance, it performs surprisingly well, surpassing the Summeret on par with the Summicron, but it degrades a little bit faster going towards the edges compared to the Summicron and Summeret. That's why you'll see that in this test here, its performance is a little bit worse than the other two lenses. But when you're shooting wide open, most of the time it's the center of the image that matters and if you stop it down the optical quality among these three lenses i mean in terms of sharpness are neck on neck it's virtually no difference one other thing that we noticed is that um, the vignette on this lens is a little bit heavier than the other two but it's not too bad and also when it comes to purple fringing and performance at further distance they're also quite similar. Now, one other thing you might have noticed is that the Summicron 
still got that charm when it comes to out of focus areas. The bouquet is a little bit smoother than the Voilander here. So I guess it's safe to draw a conclusion here. Because of the price, size and weight of this lens, I would put it a little bit ahead of the Summerit when we take all these perspectives into consideration. But when it comes to a comparison with the Summicron, I think there is a reason why Leica haven't changed the design of lens for so many years. It's because it is still a magnificent lens. There's no need to upgrade such a magical lens. In fact, I am grateful that Leica haven't done that because otherwise it would have lost some of its charm. And if you want something sharper, you know, more modern, you can always pick the Apple Summicron here. Okay, so let's get that out of the way. There are two versions of this color scope or lens. One is silver, the other one is, of course, black. Now, in the unboxing video, I mentioned that the silver color here matches really well with Leica silver bodies. After using it for a while, put it on my Leica bodies, I noticed that the silver lens also works really well with black Leica bodies because of this silver bits on modern day black Leicas. And when it comes to you know safari bodies or silver bodies, the silver lens really shines. It looks magnificent on my Safari M10P. Now, the black lens is also no slouch. It looks fairly well on black bodies. I'm not too concerned about the silver ring here. Actually, some might even say it's a very nice design cue and people might like it. And on a silver body, it's also not too bad. But I'm not gonna show you on a Safari body here because as we all know, black lenses on Safari bodies just looks out of place, to put it lightly. All right, so would I recommend this lens? Of course, I love its size, I love its weight, and last but not the least, I also love the design of this lens. Like I mentioned in the 28 color scope video, I think this is the top three most beautiful Leica M1 lenses on the market that you can buy. And because also the optic quality of this lens is not too shabby at all compared to the Leica counterparts. So you're not really losing anything here by choosing a third-party lens for Leica body. So all in all, I would recommend this lens to anybody who's interested in a small and lightweight 50mm lens. Okay, so I guess it's as simple as that. That's it for today's video. I'll see you in the next one.